you're watching for the dog channel. The first thing I want to say about this video, it's not about veganism in dogs. After all, the topic of detox come up a lot among vegans. And if you open it, hoping that I would tell you, you should feed your dog plants, you won't hear it. For one simple but crucial reason, dogs are carnivores. Their entire bodies are designed by nature to eat meat. Their back teeth are shaped to cut, not chew. Their jaws do not rotate as humans and cows do, for example. Their long intestines do not invoke long digestion of the carbohydrates in every plant food. They lack many enzymes to digest carbohydrates properly and they cannot digest cellulose at all, which is an integral part of every plant. Plants do not contain the essential amino acids in the right amounts and have very little biological value and digestibility compared to what dogs should eat in nature. That is why a healthy dog is always a dog ingesting raw meat, organs and of course raw bones. Don't even try to argue with me. I know hundreds of examples of dogs whose owners have ruined their health by projecting their understanding of veganism onto them. It's not right to do this because dogs are and we have entirely different bodies. We as thinking people must consider these differences. You can be a vegan, but your dog cannot. It's undeniable fact, and I say this for all those who didn't already knew this information. And it was important to spell it out. Now about the subject of the dogs in dogs. Let me start from the most important thing. In dogs, they change their types of the diet. There can be a process of detoxification from the body. That is what called the det detoxification. This is usually happens after years of eating industrial dry food or canned food, the dog starts to fat raw meat. And the biggest misconception is to assure that the detoxification process is a manifestation of allergies and conclude that the type, this type of the diet is un un inappropriate. This is the biggest mistake dog owners make, to fear the expression of detoxification and draw the wrong conclusion based on these manifestations. But I hasten to assure you, I will give you all the information you need. Remember, the essential rule of detoxification is to stop giving your dog substances that are poisoning him. So the natural detox process itself is perfect. In doing so, the body removes of all the toxins that have have been accumulated uh, uh, through and poisoning the body from the within. But the manifestation of, of detoxification in dogs can look highly frightening. Namely, worms can come out of the body, these worms can die in the masses and release this toxin into the bloodstream, which leads to reflections on the skin and coat of the animal. Dogs can have dentful skin scarps in especially severe manifestation even eczema and the extent of this manifestation depends directly on the number of toxins accumulated by the body the longer your dog has been fed ultra processed food the more images can occur there is no need to fear this it passes just be aware toxins uh, leaving the body through blood urine and feces can cause unusual conditions. Urine, for example, can be cloudy. Stool contain worms, uh, can be dark and smelly. It can be compared to a sponge that has, be co has been collecting dirt on itself and then you rinse it under the face, push it down, the ground goes away intensely. And it takes time to and patience to clean the toxins out of your dog's body. Animals' bodies assimilate beneficial nutrients and dispose of useless ones. All dog cells created waste that needs to be disposed of. And the liver is the main organ that acts as a primary filter from the incoming garbage and uh, is the one that requires detoxification. 
Toxins enter the liver where they are transformed in a couple steps into a waste, which can escape in two ways, through the gallblade and feces, and of course through the kidney with the urine. To help the liver to do its job uh, at each disposal step, it needs pretty specific nutrients. The most crucial organ that traps all these toxins in itself is the liver. It is the liver that needs needs help. There is a direct correlation between the nutrients that come, come in and the liver function that can perform. So, by helping your dog with nutrients by proper liver function, we are triggering the detoxification process of your dog's body. I have another analogy for you. Remember, a car has different filters, which are supposed to trap dirty particles, not letting dirt into the car. It's the same with the liver. Maintaining the filter helps to keep soil out. If the liver doesn't get vital nutrients and is overloaded by toxins, it won't be able to function at, as it should. Toxins will stop being filtered by the liver and enter to the body, leading uh, to an inflammatory process. It should be noted that the liver is poorly adapted to a high levels of incoming toxins that are present today. If you compare the amount of toxins today and 70 years ago, after World War II, the number of chemicals on the market go uh, 1.5 million new kinds. 80,000 of them are mixed with hormones that are called xeno. Uh, estrogens implying that they mimic estrogens but act uh, as endocrine disruptors. The estrogen, estrogens lead to hormonal imbalance, provoke inflammation and in many cases cause cancer, infertility and metabolic disease. To compare the number of chemicals produced in 1920, US produced was less than 100 million pounds when in 2000, uh, it exceeded to 140 billion pounds yearly. Do you think the body can absorb more toxin without harming its health? Of course not, which is why the body needs regular, regular help to get rid of toxins. Detoxification can help restore normal liver function. If not, dogs will experience a accumulative effect of toxin saturation, which will lead to many health problems. You still remember the most crucial rule of detoxification is to stop giving your dog substances that are poisoning them. Then let's talk about uh, the sources of the departure. Uh, they can come from outside with the water and of course with the food. So toxins in water are chlorine, fluoride, pesticides, herbicides, fertilizers, and medical residues. The list of toxins that come with the food is much longer. These include artificial sweeteners, uh, preservatives, uh, food components uh, from contaminating areas, low-quality ingredients, automotive exhaust fumes, industrial air pollutants, medication includes antibiotics, and genetically modified organism which is why uh, never give your dog a corn or soy uh, and of course uh, the last one is heavy metals the latter is extremely common in dry food mercury cadmium and arsenic are commonly found among heavy metals in industrial foods don't underestimate the number of toxins coming with the water and food in dogs as many study of all pollutant dry foods showed, the contained toxic rancid fats and heavy metals in many times excesses doses which poison the bodies of your animals. Speaking of toxins, it's certainly worth talking about dogs' vulnerability to toxins. There are only a few ways animals uh, are vulnerable to toxins. The body can become toxic to itself. If an animal accumulates amount of toxins, the body will respond with a chronic inflammation and produce chemicals that will be toxic to the cells. 
these internal chemical compounds that is produced uh, are essentially in some cases. For example, your dog bites uh, your dog's paw. Uh, the body needs to create control inflammation to heal the injured area and kill all the bacteria there. The problem begins when the inflammatory process, instead of stopping, is constantly maintained in the body and the body starts uh, to harm itself. And the more cyclical this inflammatory process is, the more toxic it becomes. If you don't help the animal detox at this point, it's very likely to get sick. Also right now, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to a liver detox in dogs. Phase 1. The following ingredients need to be provided. The first one. B. Vitamins. Next one. Uh, glutathione. A compound that participates as a coenzyme in Rodex reaction in cells. It's a tripeptide derived from a glutamic acid, cysteine and glycine. And an uh, acetylicin, NAC. Next one. Vitamins A. C, D3, and E. Next one. Citrus, bioflavonoids, and, and quercetin. And of course, milk thistle. P phase 2. Add the following nutrients. Amino acids, glutamine, glucine, taurine, uh, cysteine, lysine, carnitine, and garlic. Of course, eggs, garbage, uh, broccoli, cauliflower. Next one is MSM, methyl sulfonylmethan, organic sulfur, and n acyl uh, cysteine NAC. Phase 3. Ensure proper disposal of toxins. Water-soluble sol waste is disposed of the body in two ways. The first one is through the bile and through the intensin. The second one is through the kidneys and then through the urine. It's important to say that my advice to every dog owner is to find a holistic veterinarian and under his apparent supervision to perform detoxification. If you don't have that option, and I know that is not all countries still have such specialists, then it's up to you. You're the owner and the animal is your responsibility. But there is not all you will learn from this video. What else can I do? Is this anything else you can do to help your pet? Okay, get through your house and check the labels on the all detergents at your home. Laundry detergents, all soap products, shampoos, bathroom chemicals, window cleaning, cleaning sprays, air fresheners, fragrances. And now read the comp position. If you uh, find ingredient in a piece is difficult for you to read, it's most likely a chemical. Don't buy this product anymore and find a safe substance, substitute. The toxicity of these substances is not only bad for your dog, but everyone in your family. If your dog has walked on the chemicals, you need to wash him paws with hypoallergenic soap to remove the residues of these chemicals. Changing his diet is most crucial element in detox. If your dog still on dry food, the best recommendation from my side, uh, can, I can give it to you, switch him to a natural, idiotypic diet. Not boiled and no porridge as soon as possible. This is raw meat, organs, uh, raw bones and some functional vegetables. When switching to the correct natural type of food, the dog will also detoxify the process of cleansing the body which was established by nature. He may be in a bad mood for a few days, noses may can be observed and hairballs may become out through vomiting. Very often worms are kept out uh, through the feces. If the dog has been fed for a long time with dry food, which is turned to overloaded with the harmful components, environmental pollutant, 
perhaps even strong medication, and then the animal switched to the fresh, nutritious and minimally polluted food, at first an involvement in the health of the animal can be observed. Blood composition improves, activity increases and energy level increases. Depending on your accumulative debris, the cleaning process will last two or three weeks. After this time, the healing process most often affects the kidneys, colon and skin, essentially excretory organs. Therefore, the urine darkers, a pungent odor appears and the feces become dark with mucus or blood, sores or darnful appears on the skin. Sometimes the loss of the dead hair starts. It's a preparation for a new hair growth. It would help you to, uh, if you w- w- were prepared for all of this and you were afraid of such manifestation of detox in dogs. Herbs can be helpful too. The most significant help uh, in, em- in eliminating toxins is bardock. Bardock root is soaked in one teaspoon in distilled water for five hours. When the cold extract is brought to a boil, a coiled slow and coiled slowly. Bardock helps cleanse the liver of toxins, but it also good in stimulating the gold blade to help cleanse the blood. The sweet livers and uh, biliary disease uh, and metabolic disorders in dogs. To help the body dispose of toxin waste, slippery elm herb, marshmallow, linseed and plantain are added added to help uh, lubrification, to protect and to reduce inflammation uh, of a muscle, membranes of the urinary and intentional tracts. If the pet's liver problems cause chronic uh, contisipation, give frequent but small doses of Turkish or Hubert supplement. The dosage you can see on the screen two times or three times daily, but this remedy is given only a short course so as not to cause diarrhea as it has a strong laxative effect. Note, to be sure to check all dosage with your holistic veterinarian. That is all I want to tell you about this issue. I hope you learn much helpful uh, much helpful information from this video. And if you like what I do, you can support this channel through PayPal and Patreon links uh, that can be found in the description below. Have a great day and bye.